phones are really good at taking high quality video. The only problem is wind. It's really hard to cancel out without any kind of protection, kind of like that camera has. So I've come up with two options under $10 you can make in minutes. I'll show you how, and then we'll take them outside in this wind, and I'll show you the results and how they work. You can see here a whole bunch of different ways of trying to conquer wind and get that wind sound out. This is just standard foam and over the mic. Here are some ones that I've made out of fuzzy gloves. I'm going to use this technique later for these portable mics. And you can see the inside here. There's a little bit of foam. That's where it grips. Less than successful, by the way. You have to really push it on there and even so, it just pops right off. This one's a little better. I think it's just because it's deeper. I've tried all sorts of different road equipment and been less than satisfied with them. Because it's little details like this where they seem to miss the mark. It's just like a boom mic, direction mic. It looks real and it feels real, but it's fake. And the density of the fur, or in this case, fake fur, helps keep the wind from penetrating. Even this with the fuzzy gloves, it works really good. So we're gonna make two different versions using those concepts. One with fuzzy gloves and one with craft fur. I bought two of these for $5 a piece. It's one of the covers that goes on your phone. And the great thing about it is it actually has plastic where the microphones are. On a Pixel are right here, at the top here where this hole is, and then down here, three areas we need to cover up. I got two identical covers here, and I'm going to make one with black fur and one with these fuzzy gloves. I know what you might be thinking. The fuzz is going to affect this camera. Let's just lay that fur right on there and see if it gets picked up. In fact, let's just keep bringing it out until it does. Okay, right there. So about that far out. So if you had something even this big and fuzzy, you're really not going to get it in the picture. Pretty crazy, huh? You can get these, especially off season, for a couple bucks. I'll post down below an option if you can't find them in the stores. This craft fur you can probably find in Michael's or any other kind of craft store or even a big box store. But if you can't find it there, I'll post an option below. In both cases, I'm going to use double-sided tape. You could use relatively inexpensive double-sided tape, or this is double-sided carpet tape. It's a little thicker and got a little more stickiness to it. I use this for a lot of projects. I'm not too worried about covering the holes. I'm just going to cut a sample of this off. For something like a wireless mic like this, and you want to give it a little more than just this foam, because a lot of times this foam's not doing it for you, you could just cut the fingertip off, give yourself plenty of room, and then just wrap that down over the top like that. And if you're worried about that coming off, you can just use a rubber band and keep it in place. For this wireless mic, this would work great. By the way, if you want to see an evaluation of this wireless mic, it plugs into both an iPhone or any kind of C adapter. I'll post it up there and down below when it's available. I'm making this one maybe a half an inch. Probably just gonna make a little hole like that for the light. Cut the tip off of this one and the tip off the pinky for the top and the bottom. If you're having problems with the tape sticking to the cover, just take a piece of sandpaper or a sanding sponge and just rough it up a little bit. And that will help it adhere to the plastic. But on the top and the bottom, I just took a hole punch, punched holes in the double-sided tape, and then I'm just going to apply that. You got a little groove there, you want to make sure you get it all nice and sticky, and then just pull that top off. I'm going to use the tips on here, and just lay it in place. And it sticks on there pretty good. Wasn't really sure where the mic is in this area right here, so I just kind of filled in an extra piece here, cut that back a little bit from the hole. Here I just put a nice little thick square. This is another fingertip. Plant that guy right there like that. And the great thing about it, once it's off the case, you can kind of press it down to make sure it's a nice tight fit. This one, I think I'm just going to use a thick ring. I'm going to try to make it so I can use the light if I want to. So I'm just taking the square, pushing it around like this. For some reason, I'm worried about that. I guess I could just shove another old piece in there and tape that in. But I think that's going to work pretty good because I can close it up a little bit if the wind's a little crazy. That will still allow me to use the light if I want to. So this is number one. Now I'll tape up this other one and just lay in this craft fur. And I'm not too worried about making a hole for this, kind of like I did on the top and the bottom there. I think the microphone's going to come through smashingly, just like it does here on this one, or on this one, or on this one. This would work great, and I'll show up there another video 
where I do an iPhone. This is a 13 and the microphone is right here and then there's one right here. So when that becomes available, look for it up there. On the second one, I decided not to get so fancy as far as making the holes and the tape and all that stuff. And the great thing about taking the cover off is you can kind of match it up there and make sure you got a patch of fur that works. And just lay it right on the top like that. And I've decided not to make the hole of the flashlight because I figured, eh, I'm probably not going to be shooting too much at night in the wind. And then just put this guy here on. If it goes a little bit over, not a big deal. And you can just... Always trim it off once you have it in place. So we'll take this, kind of roll it on. That works out pretty well. It's time to go outside and test the bear phone and then design one and two and see which one is best. Okay, just measured the wind. It's about eight to 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 12. So this would be a good test for the wind covers. This is the wind at my back. This is what it sounds like without any wind cover. Using the flags as a wind guide, this is what it sounds like without the cover on. You can see the wind starting to pick up now, about 12, 15 miles an hour. This is directly into the wind. Here's the wind on the side with no wind cover. Now we're going to put the fake fur cover on the phone and see how it does. Here's the wind at my back. Here's facing the wind with the fake fur wind cover. Here's the wind on the side with the fake fur wind cover. Now we're going to put the fuzzy mitten cover on the phone and see how it does. Dusting wind, here it is, with the furry mitten wind cover. Here's the wind at my back with the furry mitten wind cover. Here's the wind at the side with the furry mitten wind cover. Here's the plain phone. No protective covers, same wind. All different directions. Okay, the wind is up to 20 miles an hour. You can see that the trees are moving around a lot. This is the ultimate test of these wind barriers. This is the furry wind barrier. Moving around in all directions to give it a true test. Here's the fuzzy glove. When gusting up to 25 miles an hour, all directions, just to give you a sense of how the fuzzy glove blocks the wind. Lots of wind. So the fur cost me a couple dollars. The gloves, I think they were two dollars. And then the covers I got on sale for right around $5. So $7, certainly under $10, you're going to have a configuration or two that's going to protect your audio from the wind. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of camera gear, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.